In this video, you're gonna learn the 10 life-changing lessons that took me from zero to 300K per month in 2023. And if you stick around to the end, number 10 is gonna absolutely change your life. If we haven't met, my name is Arturo Johnson, and I started a, a digital marketing company back in 2018. And this year alone, my agency did 200K per month, as well as a coaching program that we have that has done over $6 million in sales. So I can remember back to being um, a server before I even got into this industry. And I came across an email from this guy, Nolan. Shout out to Nolan. Um, he was doing some affiliate marketing for Sam Ovens, which I didn't know at the time. And this email changed my life. It told me about this new online way that you can do business. Now at this time, I was waiting tables at night and trying to be a life insurance agent by the day. And one of the challenges that I was having is that I was burnt out, I was frustrated, I was tired of um, the status quo, and I just wanted more out of life. And that's when I realized point number one, there are two matrices. The first matrix is the nine to five matrix. And this is where you're sold on the, the good old American dream, right? You work 40 hours a week for 40 years to live off 40 years of your income. And man, this is not the biggest scam, right? So what happens is, is you go to school for all of this time to learn, learn these very general skills. To get out of school, did not have a specialty or expertise in anything. So now you got to go into the job workplace. Right? You gotta work for somebody else doing the 40-40-40 plan just to realize at the end that you're up the creek. And I didn't wanna go down that route. So I went online, started searching for some things, and that's how I learned that I was in the matrix. And the only way for me to escape the matrix was to become an entrepreneur and start my own business. And that email changed my life because that introduced me to my mentor, Sam Evans, who taught me all about digital marketing. And more importantly, he shaped my paradigm on how I saw myself. See, the thing that I had to learn was I had to expect more for myself, but I didn't realize that my identity and where I was getting my identity was from, from society and not how I looked at myself. And that by far changed everything for me. So that was the first matrix I had to escape. The rat race of the nine to five and all the programming that the misdirectional system had given us and escape that. But the second matrix is the make money online matrix, right? And this is where marketers sell marketing to marketers, right? Marketers, marketing, marketing to marketers. Man, we see it so often. And what happens with this matrix is, is you go from course to course to course, from guru to guru to guru, trying all of these different strategies. At the end of 2021, going into 2022, my business was in turmoil. And that was because I kept changing strategy after strategy, and I was giving my business a whiplash. My team members were frustrated. I was frustrated because I wasn't growing. And it wasn't until I had this one aha moment. You see, there's this line of success, right? And what happens is, is in order for you to cross that, that line of success, you need to have focus. So what's focus? Follow one course until successful. And what happens is, is this line here is the line of success that's at 100%. Well, what I was doing was I was trying dropship, right? I was trying affiliate marketing. I was trying email marketing. I was trying an agency. I was trying a coaching program. Now, all of these here at 20%. So I would try this strategy and get to 20% and then jump to another strategy and get that one to 20%. And what happens is, is I was never able to cross this line that we call success here. And so what happens is I would start something and then go to another thing. And that was this vicious cycle that I was in going from program to program to program. And that's when I realized I had a problem. I had a shiny object syndrome and a shiny strategy syndrome. And this is what kept me from having success. And it took me longer to make my first billion than I actually wanted to. It actually took me 18 months and I could have done it in 12 months. And so those are the two matrices from lesson number one. It's gonna be life changing for you is that there's two matrix. There's the nine to five rat race matrix that you need to escape. And then number two is the make money online matrix, which is hopping from course to course, from guru to guru, changing your strategy every 90 to 60 days. And that's where your business is growing. Lesson number two, don't be humble, be confident. One of the things that I've started to do in 2023 was I started to make sure that I was clear on what the definitions of what words mean. So most people, when they hear that, they're like, don't be, don't be humble. No, you should be humble. But when I actually looked up the definition of humble, I was like, you damn right. I'm not humble. I'm confident. And so many times, right, we have the misdirectional system trying to turn men back into boys, right? Stay over there, be quiet, right? Don't have confidence. 
Think all about your feelings, cry, express yourself, all these things. Now, I'm not saying anything that those things are bad, but when I looked up the definition of humble, I was really, really shocked. The definition of humble is having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. So are you humble? Am I humble? Absolutely not. The second definition is, is of low social, administrative, or political rank. So if you want to be humble, you need to act as if you have a low social or political rank. And the verb of that is lower in dignity over importance. Do you have dignity? Do you feel like you're somebody that's important? So once I realized that, I stopped taking on this identity of, man, I needed to be humble. But instead, what I needed to do is I needed to have confidence. So what is confidence? Confidence comes from the root word to confide. And what happens is, is most people don't have confidence because they've broken their word from themselves so many times, they don't believe a word that they say. So we talk about this all the time, but the way to get confidence is in taking the action. The more you do something, the more you're gonna get confident in it. For example, if I can't ride a bike, sitting around watching it on YouTube isn't gonna help me ride a bike. The way that I'm gonna learn how to ride a bike is to get on the bike and fall down to the left and to the right until one day, guess what? I figure it out. And now every time I get on that bike, I don't even need to think about it. And that's where you have confidence. And when you get confidence, the next level is mastery. And what is mastery? Mastery is to effortlessly execute without the use of conscious resources. And that's where you want to get in business. So don't be humble, be confident and achieve mastery. Number three, no more guru coaching programs. So I learned this from, uh, shout out to my mentor, Sam Mubbins again, believe in your ability to figure it out. See what happens is there's this strategy called investing, right? And what happens is, is you got this one stock over here. And if you put a dollar into it and you start early enough over a long period of time, right this amazing thing starts to happen which is called compounding but what happens is when you start investing you don't see that right away and the problem that most people have is they're missing the most important ingredient which is time right and so what happens is is what you do is you go from coaching program to coaching program and you keep changing investing in this stock to invest in this other stock and you never allow the compounding interest to actually take place so then guess what? You never get the results that you're looking for. And this is one of the most profound things um, that I learned in 2023 was believing in my ability to figure it out, having patience and just giving this thing time. You see, you already know all the information that you need to know in order to be successful. You don't need another coaching program. You don't need to watch another YouTube video about a morning routine. You don't know, learn, learn another email marketing strategy. You don't need to learn copywriting. You have everything that you already need in order to, to have success. And you need to focus on two things. Number one is generating calls, strategy sessions, and doing strategy sessions. That right there alone will get you to a level that you can be proud of and have success. So again, number three is no more coaching programs. Number four is we need strong men to do hard stuff. And the misdirectional system that society wants you to be fat, lazy, and fearful because that's how they can control you. And so if you look at the news, right, all it does is push this propaganda uh, of, of fear and the end is coming. But what you wanna do is, is you wanna become a strong man and you wanna stop being humble and you wanna be confident and then you wanna do hard stuff. So there's a saying that strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard time. And so we're getting into this era now where we don't have to hunt for food. And right now is the easiest time in the world to get food, to make money. And so what this time is creating is weak men. And now more than ever, we need strong men. So we need strong men like you and I to do hard stuff. Number five is the be, do, have. So I was listening to this talk by Alex Amosi and one of the things he said was be, do, have is BS. Because if you don't understand what the be, do, have is, become the person that you need to become and do the things that you need to do in order to become successful. And then you can have everything that a successful person has. And again, we overcomplicate things and we spend a lot of time focusing on becoming and having, but the only thing that we need to do is do. See, a very simple first principles philosophy is outputs are derived from the inputs. So if you want to have success, the only thing you need to focus on is what do I need to do to make the outcome that I want to have absolutely impossible not to have, which means you need to reverse engineer 
whatever it is that you want to have and then you want to add a 20 to 40 percent margin of error on that so that you can do exactly what it is and 40 percent more so that it would be unreasonable to think that if you did way more than it took for you to hit your goal that there's no way that you could hit it and this right here makes you unstoppable so again the do is the only thing that you need to do you don't need to learn how to do copywriting you don't need to set up another funnel you don't need to set up some more automation the only thing you need to do is 100 to 200 outreaches the 100 phone calls right 100 text 100 emails that's all you need to do so again be do have is bs just do number six is your morning routine should have a purpose it shouldn't be the end goal of the day there's this video that I, that i watched it is called the the toxic world of self-help and what he goes on to talk about is that most people spend 80 percent of their time doing that morning routine and 20 percent of their time taking action and that's why they can't get anything done so you wake up and you spend one to two hours on your vision and your manifesto then you spend two hours um meditating right and then you spend another two hours reading eight six hours out of the eight hours of the day you're supposed to be working right then you get to work by this time you're tired you're hungry you're fatigued and now you don't have the willpower and the energy and the motivation to actually get anything done while i do believe that a morning mindset routine is vital if you're a beginner to achieving success is because you need to have a reminder of what you're trying to do every single day and then you need to speak the successful things that you want to achieve by taking the action over your life and then the next thing you need to do, have a cup of coffee, you need to sit down and get to work. Number eight, the key to $1 million a year or $1 million per month is to have a strong organic following. So I've been reading this book uh, from Price Pritchett called The Quantum Leap Theory. And in this book, two, two passages stood out to me. The first one was, is that you don't need to make a quantum leap happen. Most people are in the way of keeping a quantum leap from happening. And the way they were doing that is because people keep uh, switching strategies and not just focusing and letting the efforts and the energy that you're doing compound over time. So that one was eye opening to me because that means that I just need to focus on follow one course until successful. But once I do that, the other thing that I needed to do was I needed to make sure I was working on the right things. If you take imperfect action on the right thing, you can still have success. But if you take perfect action on the wrong thing, it's impossible for you to hit your goals. And once I realized that, that really enlightened me, which was like, huh. So I don't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be all figured out. And if I just do, I can still have success. So then the next thing was, what was the quantum leap? And that was focusing on building a strong organic following. See what happens when you build a strong organic following is that you don't need advertising. And what happens is when people consume content from you, they have already decided if they're gonna work with you before they even reach out. This is one of the most powerful things to understand in business. So your content allows people to know, like, and trust you ahead of time so that they can see if you can actually help them by helping them through your organic content. So what you need to do is put out uh, valuable content you need to be consistent and you need to be creative. And when you contribute in this fashion, then you ultimately achieve this connection with your audience. And when you have connection with your audience, guess what? They don't want the learning to stop and they want to continue to work with you further. And so this by far was one of the biggest breakthroughs to get to a million and for myself to get to a million dollars per month is to grow my organic following. The number nine lesson that I learned in 2023 is that it just takes time to build something amazing. See, when I first started my business, I went from zero to 100K in six months and 29 days. From then, I went from 100 grand to 1 million in my first 18 months of business. So in that span of time, we were just hitting record month after record month after record month. And then fast forward to uh, 2022, right? We weren't doubling. We were going about 20 to 25% growth every single month. And what happens is that was a challenge for me. I started to struggle. I started to question everything I was doing. I started making a bunch of changes, started internalizing, not having the growth in the business and my self-worth and like all of these things that I had to do two things. Number one is I had to detach myself from the outcome and the processes in my business that was a really difficult thing to do because my, my image was now tied to the success that I was having in the marketplace because I was really proud of that. But once I did that, it allowed me to see clearly through the lens of what was happening. See that exponential growth that was happening in the beginning, that happens with everything. But as you start to get bigger in the scale, the numbers start to diminish, the law of diminishing return. 
And so once I was able to do that, then the second thing was, is I just had to be patient. And I learned this from Alex and Mosey. He said that what patience means to him is doing things in the meantime, right? So what I had to do was figure out something else to do in the meantime so that I can just let my business grow because it just takes time. What I started doing is I started focusing on other areas of the business that I can be creative in without tinkering. Stop changing landing pages and start changing Saturday strategies and funnels and my ads and, and, and messing with all the things that I built that was actually working. Stop tinkering with these things and just focus on something else in the meantime. And that's why I'm focusing on the organic content and funny enough, once I've had this breakthrough, my business last month, I did absolutely nothing. I probably worked a total of 10 hours a week on my business and it actually hit an all-time high all by itself. Again, what you wanna do is you want to let the cake bake. And number 10, and this by far was probably the most impactful for one that I was able to come across because as a new entrepreneur, I just felt like I needed to do everything. I needed to have control over everything. And what happens is, is when I had that, I had so much stress, I had so many questions, I had so much anxiety that I was always trying to control everything and have all of these spinning plates that something would always drop and I'd go over here and this ball would drop. And I just felt like I was doing this juggling um, act. Never actually got burnt out, but I felt like this was an impossible thing. And that's when I realized that I don't need to be an expert at everything. I just need to be an expert at one thing. And then I need to build um, a great team in order to have a great business. There's a saying that if you want to go fast, go long. But if you want to go far, go with a team. And so that's what I started to do. If you look at all great companies, Amazon, Apple, Google, they all have a great team. They have a great leader and then they all have A players under them. So if you want to build a big, healthy, strong business, you need to build a team. Experts hire experts. And the last piece to that is, is you don't need to be the smartest person in your business. You don't need to be the magic. See, what happens is, is when you're the magic, you can never take time off. You can never take a break in your business because you always need to be on. And the business is so dependent on you working your magic. You gotta be Michael Jackson every single day that it, it, uh, it allows you to not be able to take time off to think about the five to 10 year vision of the business because you're only thinking in weekly and monthly chunks, which is a short term thinking process. One of the biggest profound things that I realized it's not the what I need to do, it's the who. Who is an expert at this that can help me achieve my goals and I can get there farther and faster. And this is the point of having leverage. So I can get there farther and faster and use less energy when I find somebody that is more talented at doing something that I can't do and we can go together. Profound point. All right, guys. So those are the 10 life-changing lessons that took me from zero to $1 million in 18 months and now has me doing 300K per month as an agency owner and a coaching consultant. With my SMMA and my coaching program, we're doing about 200K a month in the agency on autopilot and roughly over 100 to 150K in the coaching program. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click the like button. Tell me which one of the points was the most life-changing and aha moment for you. If you agree or disagree, go ahead and comment below. Um, I'll be uh, sticking around for the comments a little bit, as well as click the bell uh, and subscribe so that we can feed the algorithm so that you can get more content and be updated as soon as another video comes out like this. I spend a lot of time and effort in this to bring you the best, most high quality value things and not just to tell you what to do, but more importantly, show you what I've already done so that you can know what's possible. All right, guys, I'll see you at the top.